decent. It's a good, feels like a good fight at least. Dude, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, Jonathan. I've got a hog of fish. All right, buddy. Let's see how big. This is probably your biggest one ever out of here. Oh, that's a good fish actually. What's up y'all? Welcome to today's video. I am back in Fort Worth back from my little saltwater trip and we are gonna hit the lake today. I'm here with Captain Jonathan. It's not gonna let him, I gotta, long story short, the camera's face locked on me. I gotta turn that off if I wanna do it. But me and Jonathan are gonna hit the lake in the little bay boat. We're going to Grapevine, baby. Um, I think fall fishing might be here. We're gonna be cranking on today. We're starting a little later than normal because the weather is just so nice. Uh, got like a high of 82 today, that's insane. So getting out um, about 11 a.m. on the water and uh, I think we're gonna catch some fish hopefully hopefully it's that time of year y'all well, somebody uh, had some shad nasty uh, I guess I'll go ahead and put this in the yeah, boat. Make sure that's in the boat. The yeah, there's some nasty shad. Somebody's catfishing or something. You ready for it? Is that the plug? Go oh, if this. <laughs> you left foot. One thing I did not check was the plug. Dude, why is it out? All right, plug was in the boat. Here we. No, it is better to check than to not. Heck yeah. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> now that's a nice view. <laughs> <laughs> and she's off there he goes <clears throat> all right now i gotta go park this thing which guys i don't drive a truck i don't drive trailers which is funny because i'm i'm a fisherman i've posted hundreds if not close to a thousand videos on youtube thousands if you count the shorts but i don't I don't drive trucks and I don't like this thing beeping at me so I'm gonna buckle up so what I have a horrible time with every time we come out here is parking this trailer in these spots I just have the worst time doing it so we're gonna see if we can get her done today on the first try And we did not. Okay, so, okay, okay. Wait, I got this, I got this. No, 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 cut this way, cut this way. Yes. Yes, I've done it, people. I think I got her that time. I think I... She's in the lines, it ain't good, but she in the lines. All right, she's in the lines. She she's in the lines guys we did it we did it now we gotta walk down to the boat oh it's gonna be a good day we've got really low wind i think it's uh eight mile an hour winds right now so it should be a really good day for fishing we can go sit out on some of those main lake points and not feel like we're deep sea fishing and i'm thinking medium diving crankbaits maybe some shallows if we want to go try them shallow um jerk baits top water if we would have came in the morning but I, I don't know if they're really schooling i do have a walking bait tied on but we're just gonna see what's happening out here if we're gonna have a good day we're gonna have fun well Man, I don't see one on that job. you know how to get to our point we're gonna drive and see it Get this trolling motor in. 
Oh, gotta get my sea legs warmed back up. Been a minute. I'm throwing a little bit bigger crankbait. Yeah, I got the green back. I think this is called Mondo Shad. Okay. So we're just gonna start a little main lake. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty crankbait? Mondo Shad. I think it dives. Well, I ain't gotta think. I can read it. Eight to 12 feet. I do have mono on this rod that's what i had on the rod so it might be running a little shallower than that but we're gonna hit this bank swing it around in the cove see what we can get tighten my drag down a bit jonathan's throwing a medium diver as well so we've had luck on this before these fish ought to be getting after the bait more and more as it cools off. Yep. All right, just shot across the lake, the other side of the cove. Nothing on that first point. I didn't really calculate that there's not a not a cloud in the sky, guys. So cranking might not be as good as I thought. So we might be throwing flukes or jerk baits or There's one. There we go. Hey. First one comes on Berkeley Click and Fritz side. And he's small, but honestly, we've caught way smaller out here. So I will take this fish for show. Sure not a bad one to start a little Berkeley clicking Fritz side a little bit of a bronze translucent color pretty little color well did you see me just catch that one did you I just caught a fish yeah caught a fish threw him back I thought we came out here to fish man all you do is you go on that telephone. There he is. Yeah, I hit it a couple times. Now he feels better. Hey, he ain't bad. Oh! What did, what did I tell you about horse? Well, I'm sorry. That's two in this little cove pocket. Yeah, I mean, I'm hitting the bottom, so I know you are. Ooh, it's shallow. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Yeah. He's a good one. He ain't bad. I mean, honestly, we caught so many microscopic fish here. In this corner? No, just in all this lake when we've been coming. That he ain't bad. You got to earn it, Jonathan. Ain't no, ain't no freebies, boy. Oh, 
Oh, another one. They're coming off. Well, let me spot lock us and I'll get you one. Yeah, so they might. They might be a little picky today because there's no clouds and all that going on. I've got a bunch of these. Maybe, but you might just need that narrow, thin profile. Okay. Let me know if we're about to hit something. I spot locked us. Um, is this one smaller? It is. I don't know how well you'd throw that. You know what Sitka hunting gear is? Yeah, everybody makes fun of it. Yeah. Got Jonathan rigged up with a Berkeley click and fritz side five. We're doing a reverse crank where the tail's up front. Okay. He's got his foot in his mouth right now, but got a little bit of a crawfish color. Gosh, I swear I just got smoked. This is the most orangey crawfish I've ever seen. Yeah, it's a little bit of a hybrid, you know, a lot of stuff going on. But it seems like there's some fish up in the creeks right now. Or up in the cove, back of the coves. There is a tree in the middle. Tree, good, good lord, man. I don't know what that is. Is it expensive? Is it expensive? Oh, a fish. Leslie, a fish. On, trying, man. I'm trying. Jonathan, they don't want you, dog. Little guy, don't want him. All right, guys, I just wanted to explain to y'all what we're doing and why we're doing it real quick. So uh we've got a cold front that's come through and we're definitely out of the summertime weather patterns now the water temperature has not changed that much but it has changed enough to start uh, triggering fish to do different things so we're moving on to fall time patterns and what that means is the fish are going to start feeding up pretty heavily on bait fish because the temperature drop just kind of signals like hey like it's not winter yet but winter is coming and it's time to gorge on bait fish for winter time so what a lot of times will happen on the lakes is the shad the bait fish will get pushed up in the back of coves and in the creek arms uh, kind of move off of main lake and the bass are going to follow them up in there and be eating very heavily on them so we've kind of just been up in a cove that I really like we don't really have a bass boat so um, you know we're in here in the bay boat just kind of you know moseying around trying to find some fish uh, we just kind of have like a little sonar graph little fish finder kind of thing we don't have uh, anything super intense it just kind of tells us if there's bait around or if there's fish with the bait and it's kind of hard to read so we're kind of just looking around in these coves for fish activity one uh, bait but also fish eating that bait so earlier I caught a bass because I saw bait jumping around and a bass after it so we're just kind of beating these banks and um, I really like crankbaits for this time of year top water works really well also but um, we're just kind of changing the crankbaits with the depth we went in some really shallow areas so we threw a shallow diver that was the Berkeley Fritz side five and we picked up a lot of fish on that then we moved to the medium diaper <laughs> then we moved to the medium divers as we got into some deeper stuff so we're just out here beating banks throwing cranks all right It's a fish. It's a stick. Like 400 bucks for a guide. I say like. Ho! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! That's a big one. White bass. You like white bass? Good.
All right, a little white bass to entertain us. You not entertained? Sure. Oh, look at that. Look at that up there. You saw that? That's fish eating bait. Fish eating bait, Mr. D's. Right there. Nasty. No. There it is. Oh, good one, I think. Yeah. Are you serious? She's a fighter. I want one over there. I told you I saw him eating. That's decent. It's a good. Feels like a good fight, at least. Dude, that's a big one. That's a nice bass, baby. He's actually fighting you right there. Yeah, it's a nice one. He ain't bad. Yeah. Oh, look at there. Saw some fish eating. Kind of schooled up and threw in there. Immediately got clobbered. Nothing crazy crazy, but really good fish. Got big nice largey. Come on now. Come on now. I'll get us a little closer. Maybe they're still there. So recently, um, Kelly posted a video of, I can't remember what Annie was doing. I think she was uh, saying something funny. And, um, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember what it was, but oh my gosh, Jonathan, I've got a hog of fish. What? I've got to snag something in the back. We're going out to sea, buddy. <laughs> what in the world? I'm, yeah, I might have loosened my drag a bit much. What have I got? I mean, it's big. It's got to be a big catfish or something. I guess. I guess. I mean, we ain't getting this in the boat with our hands, I don't think. What is that? Don't don't horse them. You're right about that. Gar. Yep. Look at the size of that. We're not getting that in the boat. Like we don't want to? Probably don't want to. Hey, that's a big gar, dude. That's a big gar. Why are we pulling him backwards? <laughs> He's in it's hooked in his tail. Crap. I kinda wanted to see him, but I mean that's yeah, a see him. that's a big gar. We're just reel this thing in, not oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> grab line? No, don't grab the line. Don't that, that's how you uh, pop it off. He's, I mean, he's just not going to be done. No. So he, what are we doing? He ain't done. I got to fight him a little longer. I want to get my crankbait back for sure. That's all we want. We want my crankbait back. Big old, big old spotted. I mean, look at that. Whack him on the head. That's long. Good girl. <laughs> that's a big guard, dude. <laughs> Y'all, I got the, ooh, I got, oh. <sighs> you want to try to get him in that? That is like a dip net for your aquarium, man. <laughs> I don't know why that's in this boat. That was fun. <laughs> I don't want this thing. No, <laughs> make some Louisiana garballs. That's what the Cajuns do. That's probably what they do. Heard of that, but I want to see you to try to get this in the net. Let's try for the views, man. What oh do do my lord. Well, let's get him in the boat. Let's hold him. I need a picture with him, you know. You want to do that? Yeah, get him in. 
You got a rope? You want to make a lasso? Pull it around his head? I mean, we got lots of ropes. That's what they do. You ain't going to fit him in that net. I'm telling you that right now. But I thought it'd be at least worth a try. Get that rope and make it where you can pull it tight got around the rope him. right here. Yeah, get that. I don't want to tie him up. He could bite me. That's how you get him in the boat, dude. Need to hold it. <laughs> Jonathan, you've got the smallest net I've ever seen, and you're going to try and put the longest fish you've ever seen in it. Like, what are you... I'll put it down. What is going through your mind? I don't know. Like, seriously, if he's going to get in the boat, it's going to... You're going to have to lasso him with a rope. But he's your fish. Here, I'll go make a lasso. See if you can find a way to lose him. <laughs> if you can bring him over here, I'll lasso him. <laughs> you having fun? Get to... I feel like I'm reeling in a fish. No, technically you are. Don't, uh... In my face. <laughs> Are you serious, man? I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't you freaking, do it. you freaking kidding me? <laughs> it literally just pulled off. <sighs> Jonathan, <laughs> my my Fritz side, my crankbait, dude. You said, and I quote, "If we could lose this fish." So let's see if you can figure out a way to lose it. I didn't even. I just barely drug him. Is that the strongest fish you've ever felt? No, because I didn't get to reel him in. I didn't really reel him in either. He just kind of. I can't believe you caught that big of a fish today. Though. That thing was big. <laughs> Something's got a fish. Okay. Well, we. Oh, my, oh, Jonathan, you got a big fish. Dude, why was I not fishing with this earlier? Bring it. Bring it on the right side so you don't. They don't see the, the sea snake. All right, they see it. It's fine. Jonathan, do I have to net this for you? All right, buddy. Let's see how big. This is probably your biggest one ever out of here. Oh, that's a good fish, actually. Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan, good fish, yeah! Jonathan. In your crap net. <laughs> here, come down with me. Jonathan. Dude, that's a solid fish. How many pound are we talking? You can find out. I, out. He's a high two. He uh he jacked your net up. Cut it out. Felt like fish over here, huh? You got a spot lock, right? I thought I did. I think we are. Oh. Sure, this awesome. I just heard grinding against the rocks. It'd be worth it for this fish, huh? Gut on that one, Jonathan. Here, we'll get a weight for you. Probably is this your biggest bass? Yeah. What? We love breaking PVs. Yes, sir. 2.55 pounds. There you go, my friend. It's a video now. Oh. Atta boy. Nice. Jonathan's biggest fish. I'm actually, I haven't caught fish all day. That's your second fish today, right? This is my second one. Yeah. Came right after the snake incident. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let him go. Let him grow. Nice one, dude. Come on. He's catching some big ones. Well, I was just thinking I needed to talk to y'all and give you updates. So, uh, Jonathan's pointed out, I've caught quite a diverse bag today. I, uh, I don't know if I left all of these in the video, but I hooked a duck. I hooked a three foot spotted gar. I hooked a snake just now. And then Jonathan caught biggest bass of the day, two and a half pounds. That's the best fish we've caught fishing grapevine. Um, and guys, I'm a bank fisherman. I pond hop, so I love fishing, and this is fun. I'm glad Jonathan got a good fish, um, but there are big, big fish out here, so we're gonna keep grinding, keep cranking these banks. It's really nice weather, so you could stay out here all day, but uh, we're having a good time, so let's get a line back in the water. All right, y'all, we are off the water after a really fun, nice day of fishing. Weather was beautiful. It was awesome out here on Lake Grapevine. Um, you know, not a crazy day of bass fishing, but Jonathan got his PB. I caught a gar, snake, duck, all that stuff. It was a fun day. So um, if you could hit the like button for me, uh, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. All of the gear I use in this video, including 
the sun hoodies from Fish Hippie are going to be linked in the description. So if you want to pick up any of that stuff, use those links. It'll help me out as a creator. And uh, subscribe to the channel. It's the biggest way you can help me out, help the channel grow. With all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.